Hi everyone, Drini here and welcome to my channel. So today marks the fifth day where Bitcoin is pretty much below its weekly 21 EMA and 20 moving average. So once again, your altcoins are either bleeding or not doing anything. For me as a content creator focusing on gaming cryptos, days like this feels like this. But there are still some gaming cryptos to talk about. So today we're going to talk about D-Race because when you look at its current price action, it appears to really be in a crossroads. So let's dive in to see what we can see, okay? So looking at the race on a daily time frame, what we can see here is we did have an Elliott wave structure right here. So this is your wave one right here, wave two, somewhere here would be your wave three. Then you have your wave four right here and wave five. The tricky part about the race is because of the recent crash, it's actually very hard to read whether or not this is an A wave, this is a B, and we are still left with a C wave. Because another option that we may have here is this may be the A wave right here, the B wave may be a temporary relief rally on the same day before this is the C wave and we are continuing on to new structures from here. Why is it confusing? That is because the game is about to launch this month. So typically game launches have a way of really changing the momentum of a particular crypto. So it's very hard to find out where we are at the moment. But let's look at lower time frames just to see what's going on. Looking at D-Race on a 4 hourly time frame, this is where we can see that perhaps maybe this is the A, this is the B, and this is the C right here, so the flash crash. But regardless of whether we map the waves, one good thing about D-Race is we are starting to form bottoming out structures. What do I mean by that? When we look at this particular set of candles closely, we are appearing to really form an inverse head and shoulders right here. So an inverse head and shoulders is pretty much a bullish pattern, but once again, only once you start breaking the neckline. And currently, this particular neckline sits at around $5.11. What we do want to happen is D-Race sort of like rallies around here, maybe breaks this neckline right here, backtest it as support before continuation to the upside. Whether or not this would be by the time the game releases remains to be seen. When you look at it from an RSI perspective, one thing about D-Race is we have sort of broken through the negative momentum that we saw from the RSI right here. If we break this neckline, we have a particular technical target of around $7 based on the height of this particular inverse head and shoulders pattern right here. The breakout will also mean the creation of a new structure. What do I mean by that? If we break out from here, we will establish a new Elliott wave structure to the upside. This is most likely your wave one right here. If this low becomes your wave two, then we rest here for a while, but eventually we would blast past the 1.272 right here, back test the one of support before reaching our price targets of around $4.62. That is the bullish case. But what about the bearish case? So the bearish case for D-Race is once again, this is just one massive A wave right here. The relief rally would be the B and we would continue on a C wave destination somewhere in the future. If we continue to get rejected from here, so if we re get rejected from the 55 EMA and if we get rejected from this 21 EMA, expect the price to really continue on its merry ways. This is where Bitcoin's price action becomes really, really important. If Bitcoin continues to be below the bull market support band, then personally, I would lean more towards this bearish case as compared to the bullish case, even though the game will be launching this month. But then again, I could be wrong. Who knows? So now that we know the two scenarios that may happen, how do you navigate D-Race? If we eventually get rejected from here, then it's confirmation of a C wave, which is very easy for everyone wanting to come in because pretty much the C wave is pretty much the CA zone right here. But if we start breaking this neckline right here, then a potential entry point could be when it back tests it as support of around $5.80. So if D-Race goes bullish, then hopefully once it breaks out, it back tests it as support. This is your potential entry point before continuation to the upside. This is why it's really, really important, especially when you have very uncertain situations like this, that if you really want to get into a project, then spread out your buys. If you like that video, hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, let me know what you think in the comments. If you also have other gaming cryptos that you would like me to look at, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll take a look at it in the future. Until then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.